Hey kids, welcome to a lesson two, multi-screen apps. Number four, predict what will happen. Ooh, I like these. We've added some console.log statements, both in the event handlers as well just out in the open between event handler definitions. Study the code. We've added some white space between lines to make it more readable. Predict, what do you think will happen when you click run? What will display? Will it print out all five messages? Will it print out only a few? Which ones? Will I get an error message? Who knows? After you've made some kind of prediction, hit run. If the program runs, then try to use it. Click on the buttons and such. Were you right? Anything unexpected? Reset and run the program again a few times until you understand what's happening. There is a what's happening tab down there, but I think that's gonna spoil the fun. Let's take a minute and look at the code. Over here, I have console.log first. It has message one. Then I have an on event. When button one is clicked, console.log will display message two. Then I have one console.log that just says message three. I have another on event. When button two is clicked, console.log will display message four. And then I have console.log message five. Hmm. What do I think is going to happen? Well, I know from coding before that things out in the open just usually run. And these yellow things are events and they need something to happen to them for them to work. So I'm going to hypothesize that when I hit run in the debugging console, I'm probably going to see message one, message three, and message five pop up. And I bet you when I click on button one, it'll say message two. And when I click on button two, it'll say message four. Let's find out if I'm right. Bring up my debugging console. I'm going to hit run. First part I was right on does say message one, three, and five. Those are my free floating commands here. Let's click on button one. Button one does say message two. If I'm correct with my hypothesis completely, when I click on button two, I should see message four. I see message four. So what I thought would happen did happen. When I hit run, the functions out there ran, which was console log message one, three, and five. They weren't attached to any events. They just like our move forward, they just did. The two events, button one and button two, when each click displayed their respective console.log message. That was pretty fun. I think that's all they wanted from us right now. Let's see if code.org wants anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.